make sure you restart your emulation station. So now we're in MS-DOS and let's just go ahead and give Keen a shot. Make sure your keyboard's hooked up. So resolution's pretty good. Bad news bears? No blueberries, huh? Try again. Oh, there's a little secret down here. And again. Watch this timing right here. Alright, so there you have it. And then you go from here, you go into the palace. Where else can we get in trouble? Can we go over this? Oh, look at that. Demo, demo, demo. So this is just the demo, like I said. Okay, who the hell is that guy? Oh, he like... Wow, that was close. I'm guessing that's bad. I think I can... Oh, that's bad too. Okay, so there you have it. Keen is working. Um, it is Control F9 to get out of these games, by the way. If you want to get out of the MS-DOS games, control F9, or you can go through the normal menu and just say like, oh, I want to quit like you would on a PC. That works as well. So as you saw there, I downloaded the StarCraft that requires no CD, and I, I dragged all the files over to the correct directory, and I have it set up properly in the XML file, but StarCraft is a no-go. So uh, maybe there's something else we could try, maybe a different version of the game. But as of now, this was StarCraft with Brood War. So maybe if we just do the original StarCraft, um, there might be some other things to try. But I basically did the same thing I showed you in this video earlier. So here, take, I, rem I think I remember that it not working for, well, maybe it works now that I installed it. Oh, and I'm getting sound too. This is really good. Okay, so here, take works. I w if you watch my other video, I was not getting sound on my, um, okay, which is fire, okay, control, oh, there's ones behind me, get away from me, wow, there's a lot of them, get away, okay, whoa, there's more, okay, so there you go, Definitely want to watch out for the, those guys. So, a little hint. You might want to get some bullets. I have one right now. I have none. But you get that cool bamboo stick. Oh, here's more bullets. And some more bullets. Whatever these are. Crystals. Salt crystals. And you can run by holding shift, by the way. One's a little fat. I don't know if you get tired or not. Oh, are you... Is this real life? How do you get back in? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that guy. Because I want this space bars to use. Am I missing something? Oh, there it goes. I knew this guy was going to come back at me at some point. <laughs> okay, so we can even run through the water. Look at that water. I mean, that's like crystal blue. So as you can see, very much like Doom. This runs on the Doom engine. Get out of my way. Okay, now we have way too much stuff going on. Will I survive? Probably not.
Oh boy, <laughs> we're in trouble. Get this. Okay. I, I can't believe I'm still alive. Six health. Six health, people. How do you use the... Okay, tab is map. Enter. Okay, so enter make it lit allows you to use your... Um, my potion. I'm guessing this probably... Can. I feel like these guys are easy. You just gotta, like, back up on them. Might as well use these bullets. I got a ton of them. Okay, this is an elevator. That turns into stairs. It's like an old school escalator, I guess. Okay, this guy's kind of scary. I'm guessing he throws shit at me. Let's get out a better gun here. Probably something scary about to happen. Nope, just a window. Some arrows. Did we do it? There we go, the docks finished. Items, two out of four. Secrets, two out of four. Kills, 35 out of 39. Time, six minutes, 39 seconds. Next, the dungeon. So there you go, people. This is the game. And uh, it's a fun little Doom-style game. And uh, you die very quickly, as you can see here. Well, actually, maybe once they get triggered here. And you're dead and they just continue to mess you up. Oh, they attack each other. Are they attacking each other? Interesting, they're cannibals. So basically you can beat the game by just staying dead. They're just going for it. Okay. All right, so again, uh, Alt F9, I'm sorry, Control F9 to get out of the game. And it does save your state. So the DOS box, if you save your games, like I save my Warcraft 2 games, and I still have my, my spot saved there as well. And then, uh, what was the other one we did? We did uh, Duke Nukem. So like I said, this system already had a bunch of these games, but it didn't have Duke Nukem on. I had Dune. Dune is a great game. Like This is right around the Command and Conquer time. Cool little game, kind of like Warcraft 2. But Duke Nukem, you click in there. So there you go. You got Duke Nukem running good. All is to fire. Careful for those grenades. It actually is running really good. I was just playing this on my PC and this is actually running better here. It's, it's running better on this little pie than it was running on my over a thousand dollar computer. Watch out for those guys, they like to grab you. Coke's good too, it gives you some health. Ouch. Oh, you want those Cokes, you don't want them to fly away. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Come at me. So anyways, like I was saying, so make sure you get these over here. This is a trap, don't fall for it. That's your halfway marker. Let's speed run this shit. You just need this key over here. Or something like that, laser. No, maybe you don't. I think you do need to go down here now. Again, watch out for these. You don't want to crack that. Badly. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of bonuses and things like that, but we're doing speed run here, people. You gotta teleport, you gotta go outside. Watch out for those. Kill these guys, kill that guy. Kill these birds over here. Kill this little thing right here. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Then now there's some like pterodactyl things about to come at you. Kill those, kill this one too. And then, for extra bonus points, secret, kill the exit sign. Got him! So there you have it, YouTube. 
Again, if you want to get out of these games, it's Control F9. You can save, and it will save your state. That's how you can add all those classic MS-DOS games. Like I showed in the beginning of the video, there's places where you can get the shared versions, as pro and, and as well as some of the full versions of these games. And uh, they're small games, so you can load a ton of these games on your Pi. And as you saw, it emulates them very, very, very well. So you'll have no issues at all. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And... We'll see you guys next time.